Hello everyone, Trancher Dan here. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, before I begin today's video, I'd like to just apologise for the lack of recent uploads. In all honesty, with Corona, um, my work has been really, really busy. and I've not really been in the mood for any kind of filming and editing, so I have been enjoying my animals just through my eyes without, uh, you know, doing videos and things like that. But I do have some cool updates and um, some not so cool updates as well. Um, and while on a coronavirus, I really hope that you're okay. Hopefully you'll all be fine and uh, obviously just you know, enjoy quarantine while you can. Uh, for me, quarantine has been non-existent because I obviously still have to go to work and obviously I work at a funeral director, so I'm dealing with everything going on, which is quite stressful. But um, yeah, to everyone who's been wishing me well, uh, thank you. And uh, I will of course keep you updated with things. So I need to give a couple of mentions before I begin this actual video of updates. Um, I do owe a huge apology to Kim Pennell. Um, basically, I the last video that I did was of my BTS lectures video. There'll be a card up for that up here in the uh, in this corner. Uh, basically, Kim organised the whole BTS lectures, and in the video that went up, I forgot to mention her in that clip. Uh, the reason that I, it wasn't in there is I'd actually done like six or seven uh, takes on the actual video. And with each take, I changed different things, and unfortunately, I missed what is probably the most important um, mention of out of everything. So, uh, to Kim, honestly, I sincerely apologise for missing you out, and I will be re-editing the actual BTS lectures video with that mention, and also a mention uh, regarding Ray Hale and the elephant spider because it was. Ray's lecture that he mentioned that, not Paul Carpenter. So um, I will be re-editing that and putting it you know, back online. So if you'd like to check out that video, I'd really appreciate it if you re-watch it and uh, obviously share it and of course talk to the lectures next year, uh, providing the actual lectures happen because of, we don't know what's gonna happen with the, uh, the lockdown extension kind of thing. So uh, two birthday mentions to two very close friends of mine. Uh, firstly is Conrad and uh, Kevin. So a photo here of me and Conrad and then the second photo will be me and Kevin. Now of course um, I, I try and wish, I can't wish happy birthday to every single person that I speak to but people that are active on my channel that I speak to a lot um, I do try and give mention to those and both of these people are very wonderful and both of them have travelled from uh, either the USA or Poland to come and hang out with me in the past so the least I can do is wish you a good birthday. I hope you had a good day and um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to catch up with you soon at a future show. So now I've got a couple of little stories that I'm going to uh, go through with you. I actually have uh, notes on my phone so I don't um, kind of go off on a tangent and start rambling about things because I know you guys hate that. Um, but I got back from work, um, I think it was like last week, might have been the week before, and my girlfriend, uh, said to me, oh, I've got a few things to tell you. And I was like, okay, and I what's up? Uh, the first thing was that I had a delivery of cockroaches came. Um, they were labeled in as like, you know, live animals inside and they're in a plastic bag. My younger brother panicked and decided to open the bag because I think he thought they were going to suffocate. And there were like 200 baby uh, bee dubia cockroaches in there, which then kind of like escaped and were going sort of crawling everywhere. He managed to wrap them back up and uh, I think he used something to like weigh, like weigh it down so they couldn't escape. I will put some footage on screen of one of uh, the colonies of, of cockroaches. I currently have uh, now four co uh, colonies of cockroaches, two for Dubia and two for the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. So um, I'll be doing an update on all my feeders probably in the next two weeks because I've been mean to do that. Um, I also have a communal, that's the wrong word to use, a culture of mealworms. I won't bother doing an update for that because they aren't that interesting. But um, yeah, the dubias and the, the hissing cockroaches are really awesome. I'll still show you how I'm keeping them. So the second thing that she mentioned was that uh, she'd been in my animal room, and which she does when she, you know, obviously I'm at work because I have to go to work. And she came in to have a look around the room, see what was going on with the animals. And she noticed that the snake was not in the biv. Um, she had a look and she said she couldn't see it. So I kind of, you know, thought, okay, I'll have a look. I started looking under things and I uh, realised that this snake is, is not there. Uh, thankfully I did find it. I didn't film it because I just didn't want to sort of show you guys me crawling around on my hands and knees looking for this snake. But um, I found it at the back of Ramsey's tank. So I caught her. I also found out where it was that the snake had escaped from. So I uh, obviously made it sort of snake escape proof. And uh, she's back in there. Uh, there will be some footage on the screen of her. She's looking really, really well. 
and is say she say he, he's looking really really well and is actually losing a little bit of the weight as well he seems to be uh, not quite as sort of squidgy as he was although he's kind of cute it's not fair that the snake was sort of fat so um but yeah doing really really well i did try and feed it uh last weekend and it wasn't interested so i will try again and uh give you a feeding video an update of the enclosure and also the name has been decided um i did a poll when i actually showed him and it was like I think like 40% of people picked a certain name, so that's the name that, um, that I'm going with for him. Uh, next up, for a quick update, I will put some footage on screen. I never see this spider. This is like a pet hole. Um, it doesn't actually work how it should, and this is my Chromat Palma sign Uh So this spider never comes out. It lives in its burrow. I put food in. It takes the food and just disappears. Never see it. And yesterday when I was in here, it was crawling all over the place and I got really excited thinking it was, it actually started to do a bit of webbing. I thought it's going to do, um, you know, start doing all these you know, really cool sort of blanket um, you know, webs and things like that. And I came in this morning and they gave up. It just thought, I can't be bothered with this, I'm going back to bed. And it's done nothing. So I've had it in this enclosure now for nearly a year. And there's probably more... Um, it's probably more web in my snake enclosure than that's in there and it's just it's ridiculous it's the worst example of a green bottle blue temperament is fine but it just doesn't web and it's really kind of pissing me off to be fair but animals will be animals um also yesterday i actually came in my room yesterday to do this video and i ended up sort of spending the time just enjoying my animals i actually ended up having a whole bunch of the reptiles out so uh, you'll see uh, Yuna, the iguana, was lying on the windowsill, just basking in the sun, because it was, I think it was 40... Was it 46 or 36 yesterday, yeah? Yeah, so, was, so yeah, yeah, it was 36 degrees in this room yesterday. Uh, really, really hot, so Yuna was out on the windowsill, uh, basking. I had Ramsey out, just being, you know, a bit of a... I gotta be careful what words I use, because children watch my channel. Um, but if you're an adult, just think of the word you use to describe someone that's a bit of a, you know, that's her. So, yeah, she was running around, it was a lot of fun. I also had a Gex out, um, I was a little bit concerned about him. He was flailing like a fish out of water, um, which got me very concerned. Got him out, um, gave him some food, and, um, noticed actually he's gone very white, and I got some footage of him. He was, uh, actually about to molt. And I got footage of him sort of in the process of that. So he's still doing quite well. Um, he's sort of slowing down a little bit, but he's old, so it has to be expected. Um, but I will be, of course, be doing a full, probably like a full reptile update. And uh, we'll sort of show you all of my reptiles in, in one video. I'm actually going to be looking at some point um, of getting some more. I'm thinking about moving some tanks around. I've got some other things sort of going on. Um, but I do have two uh tanks free so i do have a couple of ideas oh uh, three tanks sorry three tanks i have free at the moment so i'm thinking about getting um, a few different reptiles if you have any suggestions then please let me know in the comments below so this next part is actually more of a, a funny little story and this is how to stop your girlfriend from um, getting fat eating easter eggs i can say that i can get away with it because i'm doing a youtube video and um basically um my girlfriend has a thing where she buys easter eggs and then eats them before Easter, which really irritates me because it's like Christmas. You know, you, you buy Christmas presents and then you open them on Christmas Day. Um, Easter eggs, you buy Easter eggs and then you eat them on Easter, not a week before or two weeks before or whatever. So um, I kind of devised this ingenious idea from getting Easter eggs. And that is by this picture here, uh, where I just hid her Easter eggs uh, in my Sawa Blue enclosure. Um, no spiders were harmed in the making of this photo. And uh, it didn't work because she just called my brother to come in and he just took it out for her. So it kind of didn't really work. But uh, for about 15, 20 minutes, it was absolutely hilarious. She was getting really angry. I thought it was hilarious and uh, was well worth the, um, you know, well worth the, you know, the dirty looks and things afterwards. And she got a rig. So she kind of like earned it. So, um, so yeah, if ever you uh, want to know, you know, if you want to try and stop your children or things from, um, you know, from consuming too much chocolate, I would highly recommend not putting easter eggs in enclosures of animals because that's kind of a stupid thing to do and uh my name is in the exotics lair and i don't want to be setting a bad example for people so yeah i've also had one molt which is the sample samonia now this actually molted a while ago 
Um, but I haven't given you the update on that. So the Sampos ammonia uh, that I got from uh, the Balfoury Kingdom of Francis's spider collection. You know, that guy, the guy that I know that comes here and we drink whiskey sometimes. Um, you know, Sidex uh, Invert Kingdom. He has many names, but I just know him as the Balfoury King because he is obsessed with the world's most overrated spider. If you don't know who Francis is, maybe channel up here. He's a really, really lovely guy. Go and sort of check him out. Um, yeah, um, but this is the solar post that he gave me uh, two years ago, and it is the most elusive spider, probably more elusive than my uh, Plinobius muticus or the Chromatopower scientificus. I have seen that spider twice in two years, just over two years. And I, put, I mentioned this because uh, just this last week, there's a photo I'll put on here somewhere, um, but. Uh, Two years ago, I went to meet Francis for the first time, and we had this photo together. And um, yeah, this is a spider that he gave me that I still have that I just never see. So I want to give mention to that. Also, uh, my fixed palmer lagunas is due to molt. I don't have a video of it, but I have a photo which I'll put up on the screen. Um, I was sure that it was going to molt like a week ago, and now it's just left that silk um, sort of hammock. So I'm not sure what she's doing. I'm guessing she's just like going to wander around until she's ready but uh, there will be an update on that and uh, hopefully my Tila Gunas will be ready for breeding in sort of fairly soon because they're a gorgeous species and I think they're majorly underrated. Okay two final things in this video. I've actually done this video really really well. I've not had to restart this once which is very unlike me. Um, first thing is going to be an update on the Vinagroon. Uh, in a nutshell basically the enclosure was quite plain before and so I've redone it. Um, I think it looks quite nice, as, you know, some, it's doing a bit of a tunnel down the side as you can see. I don't know why it's doing that because there's already some tunnels that I've re pre built for it, but whatever, it's up to him, her, it. Um, but yeah, that's doing really, really well and um, yeah, they're awesome. I always recommend people to get Vinagroons. I think uh, the spa shop might have some in. If you are interested in getting one, I highly recommend doing so because they are fantastic. Also, the spa shop, um, they are now shipping I think they're shipping two days a week, so um, if you are getting withdrawal symptoms from ordering anything, if you go to the Spireshop website, link will be in the description of this video, of course. Um, they are shipping on sort of limited days. It's just Lee going in and doing it all of it. So I actually saw, I'm gonna mention this actually, because this really, really pissed me off. Um, I can't think who it was, uh, someone tagged, I don't know if they tagged me in the post or they sent it to me, but basically someone ordered something from from the spa shop recently and the order was like a little bit wrong or something and this person was like calling them out and just tagging them and stuff uh, i was on, on instagram i think and uh, that really irritated me because it's like well you know you got one guy trying to do all these orders and obviously how busy things are and you're like concerned because of a, a little mistake like man don't be so petty you know uh, you know who you are because i actually messaged you on instagram i was very polite about it but i was i really wanted to like not yeah, you know, I, wanted, I wanted to be a bit of a dick about it, to be fair, because it you, you did quite sort of, you know, piss me off. And a lot of other people that know the situation. And um, I was actually sort of, like, told to not be a dick, so I didn't. The final update um, to give you is actually one that is not really very good. Um, and I'm going to brush over this sort of fairly quickly. Um, basically, the chameleon has died. Um, it died yesterday, which was the 10th of April, I'm gonna say, the 10th, yes. Friday the 10th of April, I was off work yesterday and um, I got up, I had to go to work, I had some call outs to do, um, but my, my girlfriend sort of messaged me and said that he died. Um, and it wasn't, it, it, it was expected in a way. Um, so to basically explain what happened was um, about six weeks ago, it was like stop, you know, stopped eating, um, was being a bit I'm going to say a bit lazy, um, but you know, it was less active than normal, which of a chameleon is, is really saying something. Um, I tried different sort of food types for it and got it eating some hoppers. Um, so I was feeding it hoppers. I was even trying to feed it by hand, which considering how aggressive it, you know he was, um, but even if I literally held food in his mouth, he, he wouldn't take them. Uh, my the humidity, I gave him a boost in uh, the vitamin supplements that he was taking. And um, he ate for... I don't know how long, maybe like two days, three days he was eating for, like, you know, every, every day. Um, and then he just stopped eating. He stopped eating about a week, two weeks ago. Um, 
and sort of like kind of just deteriorated rapidly uh, to the point where um, he had he, he wasn't climbing and we, I found him we couldn't find him and he was actually on the floor in the enclosure so I sort of tried to pick him back up put him back on the log and um, still nothing so in the end I did some reading on what to do I obviously realized that he was dying um, I don't know how old he was because obviously when I had him he was already an adult so I don't know how long they had him for the previous place to that so I'm going to assume he was old because obviously the care had always been the same, the vitamins were the same. I always bought the same brand that he came with um, and obviously he ate fine, um, usually you know, lots of mealworms and small roaches and he just kind of got worse and worse and worse so in the end I wrapped him in like a, in a, in a towel, I put him in a tub inside the um, his actual enclosure so he was really warm and nice and humid where he was. He was protected because I, there's a quite a, bit, a lot of food in there, which even though I tried to take the food out, there were a couple that I don't even know where they kept, were coming from. Um, and so they actually uh, had a bit of a nibble, nothing major, but like just very small kind of wounds where they had, um, had a nibble on him, which obviously I didn't take kindly to that. Um, and so, yeah, I that's why I put him in the tub. So he kept him warm, nice and humid. And he was in that for, I think, two days, I think it was. Um, give or take two days. And then um, I sat there, I actually sat with him on the on the Thursday night. And uh, I, went, I went up to bed, my uh, my girlfriend, she already had him out in the tub. Um, just sort of like, just sort of sat with him. And I sort of sat and he like wouldn't even open his eyes. His eyes were closed, but you could just see his, um, his heart rate, you know, his heartbeat. Um, so I just sat with him. Told him he was a shit pet, um, which is a joke. Of course, he was he was awesome, but um, yeah, just sort of sat with him and um, I put my my finger, um, you know, in his in his, his paw claw hand, um, and he like very loosely kind of grab it. So there was a little bit of you know a bit of muscle there. I just sat with him for a little bit, and then um, I I put him to bed um, after, and I knew that 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 would be it. I knew that would be the last time. Um, which is very sad. It was, yeah, I do feel quite sad about that. But at the same time, there's nothing that I could, I could do about it. And um, obviously, yeah. Then the next day, I went. I got up early. I went straight to work for the call outs And then I was informed that you know they died. So um, I do have some footage um, which I'll put on screen now. And this is just um, this wasn't the Thursday. I think this was the Wednesday where um, he's obviously he's he in this towel. It was a little bit damp, nice and warm. Not hot. It was just warm. And um, he still kind of like gave me a hiss, you know. Even in his like last moments, he was still being a dick, kind of thing, which is um, it's kind of cool. It was it was it was lovely. Uh, though I didn't sort of interact with him the same way I did like with Uniball Ramsey or Gex. I didn't get him out. I didn't handle him. Chameleons do not like being handled, kind of thing. But um, yeah, he was he was nice to observe and just sort of watch. And he was really cool. So um, it, it does suck that. You know that this has happened but it has and yeah that's that so the that vivarium is now empty i won't be rushing to fill it but at some point in the future i will look at um maybe getting another chameleon or a different arboreal reptile i've not really given that much thought yet to be fair i've had a little look around but nothing you know um, so yeah, that is that is the update for this video. Um, there's actually like quite a few updates with it that have been happening over the last sort of three weeks. Like I say, I haven't been doing any videos because of work being busy and very emotionally draining. And I've just been enjoying just coming in my animal room and just just you know enjoying them for myself. So I do apologise for that. But um, I do have a video that will be up next week, um, which um, will be an unboxing video um, that's been sent to me. I still have to do my um, keeper cards video, which I've had these for about six weeks. Something like that. I still haven't done that video. They're still pack packaged up. So with that said, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this very quick video of about 20 minutes, give or take. Thank you for taking the time to enjoy this video. I hope you did. And um, yeah, if you're in quarantine, stay safe. If you'd really like to help me out and you have literally nothing to do, please feel free to binge watch the hell out of my videos. It would really help me out. So yeah, stay safe everyone. That was like the third time trying to say that before stuttering. Um, yeah, to stay safe, take care, and uh, please um, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you soon. Take care, and goodbye from me.